Did you know that you can activate soft serial mode on your Koka robot? Hello, my name is Evgeny Durkin, and today I will tell you about soft serial mode, how it works and where it might be useful. Welcome to my channel Robot Expertise Hub. Here I will share my experience in automation and robot programming. Let's get started. What is soft servo mode? This is a special mode of axis control, where axis is excluded from the robot movement and may be moved by external force. A robot makes the linear movement from point A to point B with the regular control of all axis. In the second run, I activated soft servo mode for third axis in the point A. So the movement from the point A to point B will be with softened third axis. During the motion, I can move the third axis by hand. Meanwhile, all other axes keep moving as planned. Robots stop it in the point B without considering the third axis. Then I return the leg of axis control and continue robot moving to the point B, including all axes. How to activate soft servo mode for a single robot axis? Firstly, you have to switch off the regular axis monitoring. After that, switch your own torque limits. Using these limits, you can control the stiffness of the softened axis. Set the maximal velocity for this axis. And finally, set the maximal leg of the axis position between the current axis position and the planet axis position if this axis wouldn't be softened. Let's see into the code, I will describe how it works. I declare a new variable called my limits with type of torque limit param. Move the robot to some point, home position for instance. Switch off the monitor. Set new torque limits. Holding torque contains the torque values which require it to hold the certain axis in current position. Playing around of holding torque value allows you to modify the stiffness of axis in soft servo mode. Holding torque value taking into account all the loads applied to the robot, I mean static load for third axis and the tool mass pointed in tool description. That is why it is crucially important to set correct loads applied to the robot and tool before activating the soft servo mode. Ignoring this step might be a reason of unpredicted robot behavior like jumping up or falling down, especially working with axis number 2 and number 3. Set the maximal leg for softened axis and the maximal speed. When a regular monitoring is switched off, Max, max leg and max whale are the only parameters which looks after the softened axis and stops the robot if they are violated. Apply limits to the axis with a set torque limits function. Let's see one more example. Here a robot makes movement from point A to point B and soften axis number 1 in point A. After, I can easily move first axis of the robot during the motion. Reset first axis back into the regular mode. And reach the point B with all axis. How can we use it in robot applications? It is very good feature that robot can continue the program after being moved by external force in soft serial mode. One example is a removing part from injection mold. We are given that part should be pushed out from the injection mold and a robot actually cannot control this motion, but at the same time a robot must hold the part. And another example where we have to record the robot positions after moving a robot by hand. This is ap applicable for small industrial robots and collaborative robots already have this feature and it's possible to make a similar behavior for industrial robots.
I'm very interested in the real applications of the soft serial mode. Please write me in the comments if you know more working cases of this feature. I also attached my tutorials below the video. So, what we learned today? Now we understand that Kuka has soft server mode and it might be used without any technological packages. We know the couple examples of how it might be used. If you know more, please write in the comments. That's everything about Kuka soft server mode for today. Tap like button if it was useful and subscribe to make sure you won't miss the next video.